What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an, a remote electric igniter that you can use to um, for firework displays. So, um, I've already made one, but I uh, got this one all finished before I thought about making a video. So I'm just going to show you how to do it with this uh, these other pieces, but uh, this is my real one. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is some kind of remote control car, or like this is a one of those small helicopters. Uh, but one that's probably broken, uh, that doesn't really work anymore, so you're not tearing up a new one. But, uh, you want to take it all apart, get the internals out of the, uh, car or the device, and then the remote right here. And so, what you're going to want to do is find the wires that go to the motor on the car, and, uh, cut those wires off and keep make sure you keep them together because they're going to have two sets of wires so you just want to tape the other ones away and keep the ones you want or the ones that go to the same motor together and then you have that and then on the controller you don't really need to do anything just take it apart I mean you don't have to I was going to put this in a, a project box so I needed it smaller but you get that uh, you can keep that one together so you can uh, strip these ends down and put alligator clips on it like this like that and then just clip on your uh, commercial grade e matches or if you can if you make your own uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own in a f future video so I'll be looking out for that if you want to see it but anyway you solder the alligator clips on then hook your e match up to that and if you pick the uh, wires that go to the driving motor, then it's going to be the throttle that you'll use. So you turn this on with the E-Match connected, and then you just push the throttle, and that'll send a signal to this. That'll make electricity go through these wires and uh, light the E-Match. So you can actually have two different uh, things hooked up to it. If you want to use the other set of wires, I just have one. But for this one you'd use the throttle and for the other set of wires you'd use the like directional stick but uh yeah guys so that's how to make it i'll show you a demonstration of how it works you can do it from far away so you don't have to be right up close to your fireworks all right so i just got this set up in my room uh it's raining pretty hard outside so i don't want to do it out there and i just have a regular christmas light uh hooked up right now not a e-match one so, uh, but it'll work the same, I'll show you. So we'll turn the controller on. And then flip on the receiver. And as you can see, when I push the throttle, it lights up. So, uh, that would relate to, if you had the E-Match, it would light the E-Match with the electricity going through it. So, if you like this, guys, give it a comment and thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more episodes, and I'll be watching for uh, future related videos like this one. Alright, bye.